guys, it's Jessie V. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about pillow people, which I know sounds super weird. You guys know I love talking about weird toys. I love nostalgic things. And I had no idea these things existed until like last week. I cannot believe these were sold in stores. But before I get into this very strange video, I just want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Timu. Timu is an online marketplace that offers a ton of different competitively priced products like clothing, jewelry, accessories, home decor, pet supplies, and so much more. They have everything. So they are affordably priced and they also have really high quality stuff. And what I also love is that they always have really amazing coupons going on. They have site-wide sales and savings for up to 90% off. And they have free shipping and free returns for 90 days. So they sent me a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna give you guys a brief sort of unboxing right now. You guys know I love to wear everything strange and unusual and Timu delivered. First, I found the coolest camera purse. How cool is this? And yes, it also comes with a chain so you can wear it over your shoulder. And I love how sparkly it is. I also got this purple coffin bag because you guys know I love everything spooky. I can't wait to use this in the fall. I also got this cute little cat bag and it has a tail. I love it. I've been super into wide leg jeans and I love black and this one's so cool because it's two-toned so one side is like a lighter gray and one is a black and the quality of their jeans are really nice I can just tell by feeling them I got a cute bat sweater and it's actually gonna match my coffin bag which I'm super excited about and I got a set, so there's a cloud sweater right here and it's super soft and it comes with a little cloud skirt. I cannot wait to try this on. You're gonna see it on my Instagram soon. And then lastly, I got another pair of jeans. I love these. So they're another sort of wide leg jean, but it has butterflies all over them. It also has rips around the knee and yeah, just super great quality. Oh, how could I forget? I got these Alice in Wonderland inspired combat boots and they have the coolest illustrations on them. I love them. So you can shop my selected items using the link down below in the description. And to get an extra 30% off, you can use my code, which is SALE6549. They accept all major credit cards, debit cards, electronic payments, pay later programs. And you can shop on temu.com or you can use their app, which is available for iOS and Android. So yeah, check out my link down below in the description box. Like I said, I've listed out all the items that you have seen in this video. And I cannot wait to see all of your very cute, unique, outfits and thank you once again to Timu for sponsoring today's video. Okay so let's get right into today's video and talk about pillow people. The pillow people were plush square headed dolls that were released in 1986. They had stuffed arms, stuffed legs, and had names like pillow fighter, punky pillow, sweet dreams, rockabye baby, little bow sheep, stardust, etc. They measure about 20 inches tall and each of them had a large tag with a description and story of the character that you chose. And kids were also able to find matching bed sheets with their favorite character on them. So as you slept with your doll, everything just matched, okay? Their tagline was, you play with me, we watch TV, and then at night you hug me and all is right. The idea is that all of these characters came from a world called Pillow Valley, and they're supposed to make you feel happy, safe, and snug. Now listen, when I was a kid, I had a stuffed animal that I did snuggle with every single night, but it did not look like this. I feel like I would have been a little bit afraid to have a pillow with a giant face on it. Is that just me? Even the commercial creeps me out a little bit. So they were strange enough already, as you can see, but then they decided to make a brand new line of these dolls that represented the things that kids were afraid of while they slept, like thunderstorms, rattling windows, creaky doors, the Sandman, big footsteps. And the tagline for these new doll editions was, these noises in the night want to be your friend. Yeah, I don't know if I want that. So these characters with a bump in the night theme were put in stores and kids weren't exactly 
exactly thrilled, which I'm not surprised about, because instead of making them less afraid, it just made them think more about the things they were holding, you know? Like, if you're trying to not think about the creaky door, why would you want to have a plushie that was a creepy door? <laughs> you know what I mean? These kids began to be super focused on the dark windows that were rattling in the wind or the tree that was scraping against the glass like a hand trying to get inside their room. They could better hear the door squeaking open in the darkness of their house, like an old witch was stepping inside to find them. They could hear her big, loud footsteps begin to slowly climb the stairs, closer and closer, and the thunder loudly crashed in the distance. And don't even get me started on the Sandman. It's a dude that stands next to your bed and sprinkles sleepy dust into your eyes. <laughs> I should do a whole video on him. He is so creepy. But yeah, I literally just described all of those plushies. And I'm really curious, would you guys want these as a kid? Like, do you want to sleep with something that you're afraid of? If yes, comment the lightning emoji. And if no, comment the broken heart emoji. You guys know I'm going to be voting broken heart. Even saying that though, I did go online and I bought the window rattler creepy plushie and so I'm gonna be un unboxing it on the vlog channel soon. But speaking of him, let's talk about the window rattler. There's a story from a 35 year old man that said he had the window rattler plushie when he was a kid. He thought that this toy would help him get over his fear of the dark. He used to hate his bedroom windows and there was nothing he could do to fix it. If he closed the curtains, he thought that there was something standing behind them and if he kept them open, he thought he would see something Thing walking around outside his window. So his parents got him this window plushie to sleep with and almost right away he sensed that something was wrong. He got this intense feeling that he was being watched. He also began having dreams of a creature peering through his window with its face pressed against the glass. And one night during a storm, he just couldn't shake the feeling that something was out there. So he got out of bed and bravely swung open the curtains to see this giant face with giant blue eyes staring right back at him. So he fell onto the floor in fear, called his parents, and when they came into the room, they told him he must have just had a bad dream and fell out of bed. I've done that before, by the way. It really hurts and it's really confusing. But he told his parents that there was a huge face right outside his window, and it looked just like his pillow person. When they calmed him down and left the room, he snuggled back up in bed, but when he went to pull his plushie closer, he felt that it was so Soaking wet. And that's how that one ends. So yeah, I don't know if I regret getting this window rattler right now, but it's on the way to my house as we speak, so we're gonna find out. Anyways guys, comment down below if you've ever owned one of these plushies or maybe you have like a parent who has. I'm really curious because I didn't know these things existed until recently. Anyways though guys, before I get going, don't forget to check out my Teemu link down below in the description. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!